Hey traders, welcome back to the Daily Forex. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to trade Crash 500 index using technical analysis and some indicators. If you want to step up your trading skills, you need to be better in analysis and you need to know how to make good entries and good exits, okay, on a trade. So this video will cover up how I analyze my trades and you will know some knowledge about it, alright? So let's get started. Now, what is technical analysis? Technical analysis is when you are looking at the market prices and pattern, putting all your focus in it. By doing this, you will clearly understand how the market works and also going back to the previous history on a trade. Okay, so if you go back to the previous history of a trade, you will see how the market has been. So by doing this, you can now predict the future of the market. Okay, and also using some indicators along the line to help you achieve this goal. Okay, so now we are looking at a chart on Crash 500 index, right? We are looking at the chart at Crash 500 index. Okay, and what we are using here is three indicators and we are going to be using technical analysis as well okay so now you clearly understand what technical analysis is it's when you are looking at the price on the market okay now the market right now is the chart and you are looking at the price okay you go back to the previous chart meaning the previous history and you check how the market has been so you can predict the future okay so some kind of market usually goes the same way in a short period of time okay some kind of market goes the same procedure follow the same trend lines for a short period of time okay now if i want to enter into this trade what i'll do is to go to a higher time frame i'll go to a higher time frame like the five minute time frame okay then i will zoom out i will zoom out okay now i clearly see that the market is right here we are using the moving average okay we are using the moving average and this is the position of the market i also go to the 15 minute time frame okay the 15 minute time frame right and we see on the 15 minute time frame the market is still at the same position okay so what i will do right now is to zoom in a little bit now i've zoomed in a little bit and i'll see that this market is currently going on a downtrend okay this market is going on a downtrend mean that this market will crash okay it will crash so what i'll do is go back to the one minute time frame okay i'll go back to the one minute time frame right here now this market has been buying okay you can clearly see that it has gotten about four candle ticks from the market so you won't want to enter into the market with this position you're going to wait after the spike because if you enter into this market right now the spike is going to happen okay the spike is going to happen because when you check on the higher time frame you can clearly see that the market is selling okay if right here the market will sell so you don't want to enter this market during this position and the indicator which we are using right here is the MACD, the moving average and the RSI and on the MACD, on the downtrend of the MACD, it's always a sell, okay? It's always a sell, meaning that sell always happen, okay? Spikes, okay? Spikes. The spike is this red line right here. It always happens during the downtrend of a MACD, okay? So you don't want to enter the market during this time, okay? The, the position you want to enter into the market is on an uptrend. Of the mark d an uptrend of the mark d so if you are trading and you don't want to use indicators because most people don't always like using indicators to trade right so if you want to use only technical analysis what you do is to clear out the indicators from the charts okay we'll clear out the indicators from the charts and now we're using just technical analysis to trade this market okay we we'll trade this market while using just technical analysis now we're going to a higher time frame the 15 minutes time frame right here we zoom in i'm not going to enter the market right now because the market is going to sell okay it's going to sell because this market is in a downtrend okay this market is in a downtrend right here it's a downtrend so the market is going to sell so we're going to wait until after the spike before we take a buy position okay after the spike take a buy entry from this market okay I see most traders making mistake by just entering into the market without proper analysis. So before you enter into the market, you need to plan your trade. You need to go to a higher time frame and check to see how the market is doing on the higher time frame. All right? If the market is selling on a higher time frame and the market is buying on a one minute time frame, the market would sell on the one minute time frame. 
it won't be for long okay so in a short period of time the market will sell on the one minute time frame but if it's selling on a one hour time frame it's going to sell on the one minute time frame with a short period of time so you go to the higher time frame and confirm your trade when you go to the higher time frame you confirm your trade before going to the one minute time frame if you are a one minute trader okay i hope you understand what i'm saying then if you want to get a proper analysis of the market you add the moving average okay the moving average so that you can see the the trend line you add the moving average right here look for the moving average okay look for the moving average this is the settings period on 200 the shift is zero why the method is exponential and you apply it to close why you put it on put it on all time frames then the style is going to be on two pixel why the color you can use any color of your choice but right now i'm using purple color then after that i'm going to click on done right here okay then i'm going to zoom out okay like i said this market is on a downtrend right here it's on a downtrend and the market is going to sell so it's a crash market and we know how volatile this market is you don't want to rush into the market without doing proper analysis okay you want to manage your funds so what you do is to go to the higher time frame confirm your trade as well then you can use the macd and also the rosi to measure your trade so i have a couple of settings on the macd what i'll do is go to the main window right here and choose on the rosi you can clearly see here on period 14 why i apply to close why the levels are added two levels 10 and 80 okay why the style is on to pixel and the color is on blue right but you can use any color of your choice so these are the parameters for the rsi then i'm going to click on done right here then choose on the macd okay why you can clearly see the settings for the macd um the fast ema is on 12 while the slow ema is 26 and the macd sma is on 9 while i apply to close okay then i choose on all time frames why the style here is on two pixel and the signal is on two pixel why the color for the signal is red and the color for the main is black then after that i'm going to click on done okay then we're on the first zoom level so you want to zoom to the third zoom level so that you can clearly see how the market is going right then you zoom in a little bit okay when you zoom in a little bit you don't want to rush into the market because it's on the downtrend guys now why i say that on a downtrend of the macd spike all these arc points you can clearly see here this is a downtrend of the macd okay you can see there's a lot of spike one two three four right this is spikes why on the uptrend of the macd you won't see spike okay it doesn't happen always only on the downtrend of the macd okay if i go back right here you can clearly see right here this is a downtrend from this point let me draw it okay so that you can clearly see what i'm talking about what i'm talking about right here this is the downtrend okay this is the downtrend this portion is a downtrend of the macd and on the downtrend there's a lot of spikes so you don't want to enter the market during this position okay you're going to get caught up with a spike so you don't want to enter the market during this position only after the the spikes okay and when you're using technical analysis you need to see the market clearly and know how the market is going okay you need to go back to the previous history to check your trade so that you can this is the official price movement of the trade so i believe you understand what i just said to you guys so right here as you can see like i said i told you guys that the spike is going to happen because the market is on a downtrend after we checked on the IF time frame from the 15 minutes we went to the five minute time frame to check and confirm if our trade is going to get a spike or not okay so you need to always do this go to the higher time frame to confirm your trades and go to the previous history analyze the market using technical analysis to predict the official price movement on the market all right guys so if you find value in this video and you really enjoyed watching this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel the daily forex i will see you guys on the next video peace